Hi again, Mike Mazzalongo, BibleTalk.tv, uh, taking time to answer some of your mail. A recent uh, letter, uh, very interesting, from L says, I'm contacting you because I'd love to receive your guidance about something I just found out about yesterday. It's about a book that talks about dogs by a fellow named Sam Mason. Her question is, I guess you know about this. Is it true that God can talk to us through our dogs? In other words, God communicates with us through our pets. Uh, I'm sure if you're a pet lover and a believer at the same time, uh, this might be a cause uh, for concern uh, in your life. Well, uh, the answer is yes and no. Uh, can, dog, uh, can God talk to us through our pets? The answer is yes. God can do anything, can't he? There's nothing impossible for God. Uh, there's actually an example of that in the Bible in the Old Testament, in uh, Numbers uh, chapter 22, verses 21 to uh, uh, 39. There's the story of a, uh, of a stubborn prophet who, who would not uh, obey God, and God wanted to get his attention, and so he spoke to this prophet through a donkey. In other words, the donkey actually spoke to the prophet in order to shock him into a realization. So can, can God use an animal to, to, to speak to a human being? Absolutely. Nothing's impossible for God. He actually did it in the Old Testament. The question is, is that the way that God communicates with uh, us today? And the answer to that question is no. Um, in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, uh, uh, verse 16, uh, Paul writes that every uh, scripture, every word in the Bible is inspired by God. In other words, all the words, all the writings in the, in the, uh, in God, in, in the Bible uh, are inspired, breathed of God. And that's the way that uh, he communicates with us through his inspired uh, word. Um, another pertinent uh, scripture that uh, really addresses this issue is uh, Hebrews chapter 1 uh, in the first couple of verses. And I want to read that for you. It says, um, God, after he spoke long ago to the fathers in the prophets in many portions and in many ways. Here, uh, the writer is saying, in, in the Old Testament, you know when he says, God, after he spoke long ago to the fathers, he's talking about in the Old Testament, God speaking to, to, to Moses and to Isaiah and to these people, um, God used a variety of ways to speak uh, to his people in those days. Yes, he used the prophets. Here he says in many portions, in many ways. Well, you know, through dreams. Spoke to Daniel through dreams. Um, he spoke uh, to Moses, if you wish, uh, uh, through uh, the burning bush. And so he used a variety of ways to communicate with man. And the writer is uh, outlining this in the, uh, in the first verse of this first chapter of Hebrews. But then he says, in these last days, meaning our time, the time of the Christian era, he says, in these last days, um, he has spoken to us in his son, whom uh, he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also made the world. So the writer here is making a difference. In the Old Testament, in those days, God spoke to man in a variety of ways. Yes, even through an animal. In these days, in the days of Christ, God speaks to us through his son, Jesus Christ. And the words of Christ are contained in the Bible. And so how does God speak to us today? He speaks to us through the Bible, through the words of Christ. Not through animals, not through uh, dreams, and not through visions, through the word of God. This is the only way that he communicates with mankind today. Okay, well that's the answer to that uh, particular question. If you have a question or a comment, uh, write to us. We'll be happy to try to answer those uh, as we have the opportunity. God bless you, see you next time.